Okay, so I have our animation right here with no trail at all. The first thing that I want to do is to go over to our effects and presets tab and search for the effect we'll call echo. Now we're going to get our effect echo and drop into our shape layer right here. Now it's important to remember that your layer must be a shape layer or if you're using footage, you have to pre-compose it before dropping the echo effect. Otherwise, it's not going to work properly. Here in our echo effect, that I like to change is the echo operator from add, I'm going to change that to composite and back. And now our trail is going to happen under our shape layer. And as you can see, it's not blending as it was before. So now both colors look the same. Now, the second thing that I'm going to change is the number of echoes that we have. I'm going to change that for 20 because now if I play this, I can see that we do have a trail, but it's not working properly just yet. Next thing we want to do is go into our echo time seconds and I'm going to change the value to minus 0 0.003. So as you can see now, our trails are close together and now it looks much better than before. This is almost our finished effect, but before you go away, as you can see here, there are some rough edges around our trail. To fix that, we're going to go back into our effects and presets and we're going to search for rough and edges. We're going to drop this in our shape layer as well. And we're going to change some of the settings to fix that up. For the border, we're going to go lower. Around five is a nice number. For edge sharpness, we're going down. We're going around to 0 0.5. For the fractal influence, we're going way down to zero. So we see no deformations on the edges. And that's pretty much it. As you can see now, there's no weird unsharpened look around our object and our trail. If you want to, you can copy both those effects in order and drop into your other shape layer. And if I play this now, we have our smear working just perfectly. And that was all. If you like this tutorial, please remember to give it a like. If you have any questions or requests, make sure to comment down. And if you can, please subscribe because it really helps the channel grow. Thank you. See you next time.